Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate Cantrell's concrete compression machine. First, we put the load cell in the frame and turn on the calibration display. Then we go to the compression machine, turn it on, and now we pick settings and enter the password to protect the changes on the machine. After entering the password, we have the menu for calibration, which on the left side, we have uh, on the top, save to memory. Then we have force calibration, overload, and the, the arrow key that goes to the other page. On the right side, we have some numbers, which is default, and we don't touch it now we go to force calibration and here is the page which have the numbers here on the right side we have 10 points with the corresponding um, force on the left side so these are the numbers we read from the pressure trans transmitter on the load cell so this this zero shows that the points on the left side and then we have start with which starts this is gonna get green we have stop and then we have arrow keys for the reducing or increasing the speed of the loading and then we have some other numbers on the bottom that we don't need to touch it so on the when we start the compression now we see on the screen that in zero point there is no push pressure when we put zero the numbers on the first the top row is gonna change but there is no pressure on the system so it sets as a first point for our calibration when we start after pushing the zero we put the first check which means we set the existing pressure on the load cell the actual pressure for the first point so now i hit the start and the light gets green then i did the or already did the zero but i can do the zero again and before the load goes on the system i have to put push the check button to force the first point now i'm in the second point with the uh, number is 200 kilonewton so i'm gonna calibrate 200 kilonewton so i'm waiting until the this load cell on the left side shows 200 as soon as it gets hits to 200 i'm gonna push the check button to set the second point on my table so i reduced the speed and now i have i'm close to 200 as soon as i see the 200 on the display which is right now i push the check now the next point for me on this table is 400 and seeing the corresponding pressure for 400 is changing you can see on the system now it is 400 and the next point is 600 as you see i speed up this video so it doesn't take your time the process is gonna go to the end until we get the hit the last point so this was for the 600 next point is 900 again if you see on the table on the left side of, of the 900 the numbers is changing so now i'm close to 900 whenever i hit the num 900 on the load sale display i'm gonna push the check button on the compression display to set that pressure for the force on that yeah, right now is 900 kilonewton and then i go to the next point which is 1100 kilonewton i'm waiting on the, the load sale shows 1100 again i speeded up this video and now i'm very close to 1100 check so next point is 1400 on this uh, table 
so 1400 is done and I have 1600 for the next uh, force which is very close and I'm gonna yes it is a 1600 and the last point is 1800 so after I get to 1800 I don't need to go over 1800 so my last point is N200 for, for 2000 the machine is gonna calculate so I did the 1800 now I, I release the load on the system and unload it and wait for a couple of seconds and stop the machine now I stop the machine and after stopping the machine I go back and push the save to memory when it gets green it means the calibration is done and my machine is ready to work so that's it the calibration and uh, you make sure that to follow this whole procedure thank you